Plans. Today we are looking at more of ArcGIS Pro and how we can move from ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro. So one of the very useful things we can do is import our MXDs into ArcGIS Pro. So when we're saving stuff in ArcMap, we save it as a .mxd file, whereas ArcGIS Pro saves it as a project, which is .aprx, which you can see there. So I'm going to open up the layout demo. Hopefully this is going to be blank. It should be. Here's our project. The usual rules apply. We've got the catalog open and nothing is in here. So if I would like to bring in a previous map, it's very, very easy. We can go up to insert and we can import a map. Fantastic. Click on that. We're going to go to where this map is saved and that's in, for me, C Demo and Art Map to Art Pro. And I'm going to go with Yellowstone MXD. So I'll just select that, OK it. Art Pro will do its magic and convert what it needs to convert. It may take a little time. And there it is. Here's my study area map. So I can see this. It behaves just like a normal map in ArcGIS Pro. So that's really useful. Um, if you do get any red ticks down the side here, it means that Art Pro cannot find your original data. So you may need to right click it and go on to data and you'll be able to rematch addresses. That is if the date is missing. Fortunately, all of mine has come in rather well, so that's nice. The other thing I'd like to point out is in the catalog window, we have this new folder and it's called maps. So if I double click on this, I can see my study area map and it's got some information here, the summary, high map fans, description, no credits, etc, etc. It's really good to fill in the summary and description in your map document properties. So if you're not in the habit of doing that, get into the habit of doing that. Now, this bit of the maps is very important and I will show you why right now. I'm gonna close out the study area. And if I go back to catalog, you can see that the map is still there in ArcGIS Pro. So if you do accidentally close a map, it's gonna be saved as part of your project in the maps folder. Now I'm just going to remove this for now. I'll delete it. <sighs> it's gone. All right. And then I'm going to import another map. This time I'm going to go with Yellowstone layout. And that's because sometimes when you're working in Arc Map, you will save projects in the layout view. And if you do that, when you bring them in, as we did before, into Arc Pro, it comes in as a layout. Now this is okay if you want to work with a layout, but what about your map? If you want to get back to the actual map, ArcGIS Pro has a much, much better layout interface than ArcMap, so that's pretty cool. We'll get onto that in a later video, but here I've got the Yellowstone layout. It is as a layout at the moment, and we can see that if we go back to catalog. Now we have layouts as well. Let's double click on that. And you can see that we've got this Yellowstone layout and that's what it's currently showing. This little icon up here means it is a layout rather than a map. But what happens if I want to get back to my map? Yes, you've guessed it. We can go back to maps and the map that is attached to that layout will have been put back in. So we can double click on that. It shows us where all of our data is. That's great, very nice. But if I right click on this and go to open, boom. There's our study area map. And we could make another layout out of this if we wanted to and get rid of this layout. But don't forget, this will all be saved in your project folders. So you've got your layouts, you've got your maps, all of that jazz. So that's all for this video. Another part of the playlist that we've got going on here, moving from ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro. If you did like this video, as always, please be kind, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, fine, give it a thumbs down. Just let me know why in the comments below. You can also tell me why you liked it in the comments below. Always helpful. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much and happy mapping.